The following is a transcript between Matthias De Stefano, referred to as me, and his higher self referred to as I am, originally recorded September 8, 2020 in the constellation Virgo during the mental week examining through the sacral chakra. Me, recapitulating yesterday's topic in relation to how we create ties. I wanted to finish making clear the concept that attachments are a part of a process of energy circulation. For what things do we need that energy that accumulates and we cannot let go of? I am. The general process is simple. Everything you ingest with what you nourish your interior, whether it's physical, emotional, or mental, is something from which you obtain energy for your being. And with that energy, you act towards the outside, letting go of what you don't need and giving something of yourself to others. As we said, on a physical plane, you call it breathing, eating, and drinking. Everything you consume has a useful energy load for your body, which is processed by your body, absorbing the energy in the form of nutrients, proteins, vitamins, minerals. What the body doesn't need and cannot process is excreted. On the emotional level, you just receive emotions, be they negative or positive, that you share with another subject. For example, you receive love, and that love nourishes your being, absorbing what is necessary to give you the strength to move forward. And then you give the excess in the form of love or actions for the other. And on the mental level, you can receive information from someone which you process inside yourself, nurturing yourself, transforming in your own mind, and then you deliver it as a new idea to others, sharing from yourself. You can eat bad, feel bad, and think bad. As well, you can eat good, feel good, and think good, and the vibration of what you receive will determine what you are capable of giving. If you only eat dense and unhealthy things, the energy that you get that will act in your life will be from that unhealthy, dirty vibration. If you feed on painful situations, environments of fight, conflict, drama, and others, your energy will use it to act. And if you only watch heavy negative news and bad information, then you will have that information to deliver. This will work like this if you move from the unconscious, which does not allow you to see what you're capable of mastering in your own ability to create. If you become aware, you can use that energy to transform it and to create something new. Me. And how do I know if I'm conscious or unconscious to achieve it? I am. Easy. If you stand from a role of victim or victimizer, if you stand from the place of judgment and criticism or separation, of struggle, of hate and pain, grief or pride, then you are unconscious, no matter how many conscious books you read or courses you attend. The conscious one is the one who understands that everything that exists is like waves in the sea, and that everything is one, and that they are just as responsible as all the other waves in the movements of the currents. One who sees that everything you call injustices are nothing more than energy imbalances. The conscious one cannot see good and evil, even though they understand its concepts. She unconditionally tries to seek balance and harmony between all energetic forces. He is neutral. Basically, the conscious one is like an electrician. Me, with this last sentence, it became clear to me. I am both recognize that there is a problem. The power went out. But the unconscious, instead of going to, to the electrical panel, is the one that hits the TV and moves the light knob up and down 20 times to see if it works again. The conscious one looks for the control panel, the electrical fuse box, and sees if the current has jumped. He goes straight to the origin to see the conflict. He does not get angry with the parts through which the light has expressed. What is the fault of the appliance? It's like when you get angry with a politician and you say, they're all the same. Well, if politicians are all the same in the world, could it be that what is wrong is the system and not the politicians? Me. 
understandable. This is how one becomes compassionate toward tools and appliances. It's not the fault of the TV or the microwave that has caused the spark losing the light, but rather it's the low voltage or high voltage in the general system. If you try to balance it, the positive and negative currents will flow better. The give and take will work. So, would the attachment be in considering the appliance the source of, the, of that energy? I am. Partly yes. When you look at your computer screen, it gives the impression that it is the computer that has all of the information that you work with, but it is not like that. It's in the cloud. But, but your mind considers that it is where you see it and where you get what you were looking for. Therefore, you will be attached to your computer, believing that that is where what you need comes from. The same goes for what you consume physically, emotionally, and mentally. The fear of losing makes you want to hold on. The natural circuit of energy is to receive, process, release, and finally give. In this circuit, the energy received is transformed inside you into food for the chakras, energy centers, and for the cells, which will lead to creative action. Everything you do, the strength you have to act, the will comes from there, from what you have received. If you are unconscious, you will use the energy in the same vibration that you have received it. If you are aware, you will transform it by recognizing where it comes from and what you will use it for, and it will become useful in your creations. The excess, you release it, you let it go. And the product of your creation, you share it, you give it, you deliver it to follow the circuit. Attachments occur when you are unable to complete the complete circuit of fear of not receiving more energy, or fear of starving, or fear of not being loved, or fear of new ideas. This leads you to retain as much as possible of the information received, and at the same time, it makes you addicted to the same thing, believing that it is the only source of said energy, whether it is a specific food, a vice, a type of relationship, or a belief. Me. And what is the purpose of that energy in my body? I am. That energy has the ultimate goal of creating. Everything you consume gives you energy to create more cells, improve functioning, carry out actions, make a product, express art, produce something, have a child, many things. The key to the energy circuit is creation. If you remain attached to things, you will be unable to create new ones because the energy will always be the same and be retained. It will take you to a depressive well of inaction, therefore of seeing you unable to generate anything and thus taking you to frustration. Me. In other words, it's a fundamental to learn to give and receive correctly in order to create in coherence. I am fundamental to recognize how the circuit of giving and receiving works, of uselessness and usefulness, to identify where the attachments and detachments are, the key to understanding where the energies from which you can create are found. And there I can identify in my being everything in which I have been able to create and in what I have not. Me. What would we call that? I am... Achievements and frustrations. Achievements are those objects that we have set for ourselves and that, after a process of action in our lives, we have managed to complete and will feel fulfilled knowing that it has been achieved. In a certain way, it means that we have managed to release that energy and that we have known how to use it and that we have not retained it and that... It has given you the freedom to generate and manifest. Me. Frustrations are what we have the most problem with. I am. Frustration is the emotion that sums up that retained energy that you have, that you've not been able to release, to release, to let go of, because you've not known how to use it to create. 
the creation process failed due to not knowing how to manage the energy that was received, thus generating an emotional crisis, which blocks all of your creative channels, leading you to feeling like a failure. Me. So let's see if I understand. The energy I receive is my food from which I take the nutrients to have the essence of the energy with which to act to create something that I will give in exchange for what I receive. From there, there is a part that I return by releasing it to the middle. And I don't necessarily have to return it to the same origin from which I receive it, since everything is one and the cosmic nature is in charge of putting everything in order. Universal structures always seek to maintain complete spaces and in a greater rest and balance as possible. That said, the energy that allows me to create can either circulate freely in me, allowing me to fulfill myself in achievements, or I am attached to said energy. It accumulates and will lead me to failure and therefore to frustration. I am, exactly. And therefore, you must identify with what are your achievements and what are your failures in life. And thus, you will know where you have blockages in your creative energy center, the sacrum. Me. I made a long list of this, I have to say, both failures and achievements in my life, and I feel that I have been able to fulfill many things that I have proposed to myself among my achievements is having been able to create a network of consciousness, have a good and healthy relationship with my parents, and have stability in all aspects of my life, been able to buy a house, um, and heal many family traumas. I've become an educator. And many things, in contrast to a long list of failures, such as love relationships, friendships, or family members, and not having finished at university, and not being able to make the planetary journey as I had expected, and so many other things. I am. Um, take all of this and write it down as well, and recognize each one. Make the list with the title Creations and below two columns, one for your frustrations and the other for your achievements. Without judging the process, identify them so that you can know where the stagnant energies of your creation are and those that flow allowing you to create. Me, I recognize that frustration well. It's not something that has remained in the past, but rather it is an energy that I still do not know how to use or release, just as my achievements are not successes that I must count as fact, but as energy that is flowing in me and that I can use to continue creating. I am. Nothing exists stuck in the past. You have said well. You should not take your frustrations or achievements as a list of the past, but as an acknowledgement of what is still in you, retained or flowing. When you meet them, then we can get to work on making them circulate in harmony again. Me, here and now, I allow myself to observe in what I am capable of creating, both in what I have accomplished and in what I have felt. I am both in lies the energy that makes you be and that will transform you. With courage and will, take the brush and the colors and start painting your world. Mm -hmm.